that's got Christmassy shades, even though it's meant to be a festival palette. I don't understand that. Also the only one that I've got that hasn't dried up. I don't want to cause coronavirus, so I don't want to be a bat. This is probably a big mistake. Whoa. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Let it snow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've looked like this on camera. It's very intimidating. So as you may have guessed by the title, today we are going to do some Christmas makeup. I haven't done a makeup video for what seems like literally forever. It's insane. I have my nice festive curly hair. I have a nice warm fleece on. So I think it's definitely time to start and play with the makeup. So I'm going to be trying to achieve some sort of full glam makeup, obviously we're going to go all out, it's Christmas. I'm trying to maintain all the festive energy at the moment because my area has just gone into tier 4 which translates to basically another lockdown, so basically we're in lockdown number 3 and we have been told that Christmas is cancelled so it's a bit crap but we're going to have to make do with it. So with positive vibes only, let's get into it. So to begin I'm going to be applying my Clinique hydrating jelly stuff it's like this little sample one and I wanted to try it to see how my skin got on with it and I really enjoy it so I'm going to be applying this under my makeup because this is technically skincare it's not a primer I'm just being lazy and doing skincare on camera so as you guys can see I'm literally at home at the moment because obviously due to this lockdown stuff I have to keep basically coming between uni and home because it's not too far from uni, my house, but it is a nightmare because I just get settled in one place and then I end up in the other place. <laughs> so then the last step of my morning skincare routine at the moment is to use this Nukes, Nuxy, Nukes, I don't know how to pronounce it, that creme produise, 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 I can't say it. This. So I usually just use like one pump of this and I just tap it between my two fingers and it also smells amazing this cream right to begin with the actual makeup this time i'm going to be putting on the revolution cbd nourish essence spray and why is there a thing cleaning the road as i film honestly this is like a trend every single time i film something bloody ruins it outside do you hear that it's like one of those massive things with a giant spinny brush and it's like Right, so the machine is moving away. It's moving down the other end of the road, thank God. Right, so anyway, as I was saying, the CBD nourishing spray stuff I use as a primer because I find it's a really, really nice hydrating primer. I'm not a big fan of the silicone ones because I just feel like they make your skin slippery and slidey like an ice ring and you just don't want to feel like that. Whereas an ice rink, I never know if it's an ice ring or an ice rink, but yes, you know what I'm talking about. Now I'm all nice and hydrated. I'm actually gonna begin with concealer. I know this sounds like illegal, but honestly, it's something that's really changed the way I do makeup lately and I'm gonna do it. So I'm using my kick-ass concealer. I don't even think they sell this anymore. I'm sure I've said this in another video before, but I don't think they sell it anymore, but it is the best concealer ever, like ever for covering spots. So I'm gonna use it, no regrets, right? I have a mirror down here, I'm not ignoring you. So basically with this concealer trick, I just like take it on my finger and I just don't blend it in. I just pop it on my spots and look a little bit psycho, but that's fine. Once I look like this, I'm done. That's the end, no, I'm joking. Once you look like you have lots of boils on your face, it's time to add the foundation. I'm using my Double Wear by Estee Lauder, the best foundation ever. Of course the best one had to be the most expensive. The only thing I hate about this is it doesn't have a pump and it comes out really fast and a lot of it comes out and you're like shit. So I'm just going to blend my foundation on top of the non-blended out concealer. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing but my skin looks like it was ironed out. Of course I'm going in with my trusty Studio Fix powder. I'm out of focus, of course. I'm making sure to really concentrate on the eyes because they get so creased, it's actually a nightmare. And especially all the places I put concealer, that is where I wanna concentrate all that. So basically my whole face. I think I'm gonna do my brows now because they're looking extremely sad and I don't like it. Just literally look like I have no structure to my face without eyebrows, so they're going on. So now we have some brows. I'm feeling a little bit more like I can actually look at myself in the viewfinder and not to think that I literally 
look like a child. Bruh. I think it's time to get some colour onto our cheeks because I'm looking like a piece of paper right now. I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury palette. It's the Instant Look in a Palette Stone Rose Beauty. I love this. This is the only thing I want in my makeup bag if I had to pick. It's also my first Charlotte Tilbury product, but I'm sold. Like, I just want to buy them forever now. I don't want to go back to any other makeup brand. The blushes are the only blushes that actually stay on my face all day. Like, every other blush just disappears, and this one actually stays until, like, the, literally the minute I take my makeup off. I think it's insane. I just think it makes you look so alive. It literally makes you look like a Disney character. Like, you know, they have, like, perfect skin, and they just look, like, so, so angelic, and their skin's clear, and they look amazing, obviously, because they're animated characters, but you get what I'm saying. You look like one, and that's never a bad thing. So now I'm looking like I have some life. And obviously this is a Christmas look. We want to look a little bit more rosy than usual. This is the perfect blush for that. So I'm also going to take the contour shade from it and I'm going to pop that in the places where there should be shadows but there isn't because I don't actually have any cheekbones. Because I'm dying to sparkle like a Christmas tree, I'm going to go for the Rimmel Jelly Highlighter. This is a golden gem I just forget about time and time again and I always forget, oh crap, that's like the most amazing highlight you will ever find in your life. Of course I'm going to dot it on my cheekbones. Not that there are any, but we're going to pretend there are, as I said before. I'm going to beauty blend it out. See, I'm just feeling like this isn't enough highlight for me today. I'm just in the mood to shine bright tonight you and i i've got the skin frost and ice cold because i think we need some duochrome jewel tone beamingness on my face so i'm just gonna smother my brush in this like a paintbrush make sure that it's loaded because i want it to be like bam you know i'm gonna do it really oh, oh, i might have done too much <laughs> of course i did who else would it be that would do that Okay, we're gonna try and um, make that less beaming because I do look like a Christmas tree now. There we go, that's good, that's perfect. There we go, look at that. I look like I have cheekbones, but I don't. I'm just gonna use the remainder for the rest of my highlighty points. I don't do my chin, so I tend to get loads of acne there, and I don't really want to highlight that to the world, considering I just spent like 10 minutes trying to cover it up. Okay, we are looking beaming, we're looking glowing, I love it. I'm very much in love with this so far. This is going well for once. I'm gonna take my MAC paint pot in the shade soft ochre 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 yeah i don't know i don't know what it is but i'll put it on screen anyway this is my eyeshadow primer and it works a treat i love it yeah i don't really blend this out i just kind of lob it on my eyes and hope for the best i kind of leave it wherever i'm planning to put the eyeshadow on and i do not blend it it makes my eye look really weird but it works really well so of course what would a Christmas eyeshadow look be without the Lives of Festival palette from Too Faced. It's got Christmassy shades, even though it's meant to be a festival palette. I don't understand that. And I'm going to dip in two. What shade should we pick? I think I'm going to start with Fireflies, which is this khaki green colour up here. Because obviously Christmas is green and red, so this is a super, super glittery shade. And it's going on first, which is a risk, but I don't really care at this point, so we're just going to do it anyway. I have a feeling I just want to put this over my whole lid right now because Christmas. Okay, we have a green eyelid. I'm gonna go in with another colour. I think I'm gonna go with a brown, but there isn't really a nice brown in there. So I've obviously got my Tarte palette. It is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. I love it. It's got lots of shimmery stuff in here. And oh my God, it's gorgeous. I think I'm gonna go with the shade Malibu, which is this one down here. It's brownie shimmery. I'm gonna take that and run it through my crease to actually give my eyes some definition and not just look like Shrek. So I think to add even more definition, I'm gonna go back into my Charlotte Tilbury palette. And yes, I have just used three separate palettes on my eyes. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna go into this eye smoky color up here because it's actually got eyeshadows as well as face products. Like it's literally everything you could ask for. I'm gonna take my Stila liquid eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma. I take the little wand out, like this. I don't wipe any of the product off. I get myself a really tiny little brush from Morphe and I just wipe some of it onto this brush and then I just pop it onto my eyelid and hope for the best. I kind of do like a little cut crease with it. And I'm just dipping into the other side of the wand and doing the same on the other eye. So this is what the eyes look like. They look very strange. I've never seen anyone else combine 
brown and green on their eyes for Christmas, but that's what we're gonna do because we are special. So now it's liner time, of course it is. My favorite is the Soap and Glory Super Cat eyeliner at the moment. It's also the only one that I've got that hasn't dried up. And watch me absolutely fluff this up because now I'm on camera. So I'm gonna get an extra mirror just for precaution. So I usually start by like drawing a wing like this. It's like a little wing. I don't really do big ones because I think it looks a bit like I'm trying to be a bat. I don't want to cause coronavirus, so I don't want to be a bat. And then I just trace like from where my eyeball is in the middle all the way down to the wing. And that's my stomach rumbling. That's not even funny. So then once I've traced that, then I will just basically join where the little angle meets the little wing. And that is your simple wing because I can't do any like complicated like flicky swooshy bits because I'm not that talented and I'm not that steady handed at all. My eyeliner doesn't look even but it never does so we'll just pretend it does. I feel like trying some lashes so we're going to try some lashes. This is probably a big mistake. I've only done lashes like three times in my actual life so doing it on camera is a big task. Oh that's a lot of glue. My stomach's at it again. Right we have some glue. Oh my gosh, we have a lash and I did it, it worked. I also have a blob of glue that's gonna go transparent in a sec, so you can just trust me that it will not look that bad. We have lashes and there is still a blob of glue that has not dried properly. I forgot to tell you, these are the Ardell 105 in black. I think that's the name of them. And I'm also using the duo like regular glue that comes with it, the little tiny one. So now I'm just gonna be applying my NARS Climax Mascara, which is a very questionable name in my opinion. Okay, the lashes aren't actually looking too bad considering I literally applied them so fast. So the final step in our Christmas routine, this is gonna make all the difference. And thank you for staying if you've stayed this far because I know it's been a little bit painful considering I literally have no idea what I'm doing half the time. So we have two options at this point. I'm going to try both because I'm still not sure which one to pick. I've either got the Too Faced Melted Latex very coloured lipstick which I feel like is going to go really well with the look and we also have the MUA Power Pout acrylic red lipstick which is obviously a lot more Christmassy. I don't really wear red lipstick, I don't really like the way it looks on me but we're going to try both anyway and I'm going to see which one I prefer. I'm going to lip line first with a lip liner that's very similar to my actual lip colour because I don't trust myself with a random bright colour and no lip liner because it's just not going to happen with me. It's probably going to end up on my nose. So I'm going to go in with the red first and see how it looks. Okay, here we go. Whoa. I'm not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> Try with a Christmas hat and see how it looks. <laughs> I don't think red suits me at all. I'm trying, but I just don't think it looks right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not keen on the red, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I'm gonna try the purple and see how it looks because I do not like this at all. It's too bright red, like if it was slightly sort of brownier, maybe it would look okay. Or maybe slightly sort of lighter, it would look fine. But this is so full on and I think even for Christmas it just looks a little bit tacky, questionable. So um, I'm gonna try the purple and see how it looks. There we go, that's more like it. I definitely prefer the purple over the red. Although it's looking extremely red in the viewfinder, I don't know if it's coming up red on camera, but I prefer this. It's like a dark sort of plummy purple. I love it. It's so much nicer and it actually goes really well with the Christmas hat. So comment down below which one you think you prefer. I'm sure most of you are gonna agree with me considering I literally look horrible with red lipstick on. Merry Christmas. Okay, so this is the overall look. I really like it. I feel like the lashes are extremely dodgy. I feel like that one is coming up a little bit. But I think overall I did relatively well considering I'm not a makeup artist. I will never be a makeup artist and I'm quite bad at being precise. I think we've done quite well. So I wish you and all of your family and everybody a Merry Christmas during this really difficult time. I'm sure we can all get through it and then next year it will be so, so much better because we'll be able to celebrate again and be able to be normal and we'll be able to see our family and it will just be amazing to see everybody happy and cheerful again. So yes, have a Merry Christmas. I am gonna be uploading a video on the 25th as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, and if you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to me to see more from me and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload in the future. Stay safe, have a wonderful, wonderful day and a Merry Christmas and I'll see you next time. Bye.